kiss my ass. All right, guys. So it's being reported that 45 was considering pardoning G Maxi. That's what I'm going to call her who is the old friend of Jay Epps, and that's what I'm gonna call him. <laughs> but it's being reported that 45 had concerns that G Maxi was going to dish some details on the friendship that he had with Jay Epps and she over the years because there is video footage and photos of them all partying it up and having a good time over the years and so 45 questioned whether Maxi had plans to try to get a plea deal or if she planned on snitching on anyone and you know trying to get a deal so that she can get either out earlier or get out immediately and so now you know looking back when a reporter questioned him in the briefing room one day and asked him about her he said I wish her well and it was a weird statement at that time and I cringed at it I know a lot of pe other people did and you know some people could care less because to them he walks on water and he is you know like Christ himself so it's like whatever they don't they just don't really care like he could do no wrong but I'm not for any of these people so that's why it's just like to me it, it, it's just another person I'm not pro him or pro any of these people because to be honest with you all of them are out for themselves. They're not really there to serve the people. It's supposed to be we the people, but in all honesty, it's, it's you know, them and every man for themselves for the most part. There are a few people that are trying. <laughs> they may be trying, but those that are really trying, it, you know, they make it really hard for them. So to be honest with you, it's like, if they get anything pushed out while they are serving in Congress, it's like good luck. That's going to really benefit the people. But at any rate, in the final months of his of his serving as the the last president, he was questioning whether he should pardon her. So he was asking aides about her arrest and saying, "Has she said anything about me? And is she going to talk? Will she roll on anybody?" Like who says something like that unless you have something to hide? And yeah, we know people can lie and people can make up things for the sake of trying to save their own asses. But I mean, you usually don't come up and say anything like that when you really know that you have nothing to hide and you didn't do anything wrong. So if indeed something did come up, it's like a shock or a surprise to you. And it's like, this is some BS because this is a lie. It's not true. I've never been, you know, anywhere in the vicinity of that. I've never done any of those things. So it's just kind of crazy, but I'm honestly not that surprised. I, I, I'm just, it, it just amazes me day by day, the things that come out and, you know, people just act like it's like, mm whatever it's just another day in the neighborhood but to be honest with you this is the type of stuff that I see that makes me think of places like what is it like being in North Korea no the United States is not North Korea so I am not complaining about where I am because there are definitely a lot of places that are a whole lot worse but when you think of places like that where the people cannot even say anything about their dear leader or they face execution that's why the people are just like sitting there clapping their hands and smiling and, and you know crying hysterically if they see him like they worship this dude and that's what it, it has come to for a lot of people who follow people like 45 a lot of them worship this person so it's like they can do no wrong and they will never say anything negative about the person because they worship the person and that is scary to me when i see those things like that because it just reminds me of places like North Korea and people who cannot speak out because they are in fear of um, the Kim guy, whatever his name is. <laughs> um, I can't even remember his name right now at the moment, but you know exactly who I'm talking about. But at any rate, people who are dictators, so they can't speak out even though they know that the person 
has been up to no good, really doesn't care anything about the people and they're all about themselves, but yet you have people that are out here fighting tooth and nail for this person, giving money to these campaign um, packs and whatever these things are called. And all these people are doing is just racking up the cash on, I'm not talking about you specifically who are listening to this, but I will say your on your meaning other people's dime and they're living high off the hog and they're legally doing it even though it is extremely unethical but yeah we all know that jay epps is no longer here it's questionable whether he took himself out or if other people did it and a lot of people don't believe that he took himself out i tend to be one of those people who would go with option B, he didn't do it to himself because he had a lot of stuff on a lot of people and it's been reported that there's a lot of politicians whether they are on the left or the right or in the center and other celebrities and things like that that he has had lots of fun with over the years been on a private island been on the jet and been at the mansion and all of those different things so it's just it's just not surprising that he went out the way that he did but we'll see if more comes about this later but what do you guys think about this in the comment section let me know are you surprised do you doubt it do you even care <laughs> all right recently it has been reported that the current governor of new york andrew cuomo has been connected to some sex harassment charges and he's not been charged but there's been accusations i should say so it's not been charges but the new york attorney general letitia james she announced that they found that andrew had sexually harassed multiple women while he has been in office now i don't know how deep it goes in terms of what the sexual harassment really means it honestly doesn't, I don't want to say it doesn't really matter because it does, but I don't know how deep it goes, whether it was like they felt intimidated or was he, you know, making jokes that made them feel uncomfortable and they didn't feel that they had the power to speak up or speak out. But some of the former staffers have complained that he had done unwanted and inappropriate groping, kissing and hugging. And that seems crazy to me but he's not the first person that stuff like this has come out about like since this has broken because you know there were some things that were stated last year I believe it was it kind of went away and maybe it didn't go away but the buzz around it just kind of cooled off so this isn't new news it's just more amplified and more like known at this point so I don't know how far this is going to go. I don't know if she is planning on trying to trying to charge him with these allegations criminally. I, I, I don't know. I don't see that happening while he is serving, but there have been some people who have requested that he step down and resign. Actually, current president right now has requested that he resign. And it's always funny to me because again, I'm neither I'm neither of these parties. I don't support any of them. But I see things and a lot of times it really baffles me because you always hear these things about how the left is just lascivious and anything goes and, and, and you know, they are you know just free will, whatever you want to do, do as you feel, whatever. If you, you know, if you want to do it do it and whatever feels good you know do it and then they always you know make it seem like the quote unquote right is about being chaste and being pure and they're about god and being christian and they're about pro-life and all of these other things but yet when you see situations like this i notice this is what i have noticed that more likely than not if it's someone that is on the left that allegations like this come out about those who are serving in higher positions on that quote unquote left side will request suggest or sometimes even demand that that person step down now there was a senator i cannot remember his name senator congressman whatever 
um, he was in. He used to be somebody that was on Saturday Night Live many years ago. And um, I'll put pictures of this guy if I can find it. But he was accused. He was actually serving at the time and he was accused of sexual harassment. And when these allegations came out, those same people that were on that same side, on that supposed left side, came out and suggested that he resign. And you know what? He did. He stepped down. He resigned. But when it comes to allegations involving people that are on this supposed right, like currently Matt Gates, 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 whatever, however he pronounces his name, he is currently under investigation for supposed sex trafficking and he is even more emboldened and he refuses to step down and I don't hear anybody on that side saying he needs to step down the optics are bad this isn't a good look there are some things that have come out that even though we are not saying that he's guilty but you just don't need to be a part of what we're doing right now because you're making the rest of what we are working on and doing look bad like no they either are standing up for him or it's like no comment they don't want to talk about it they leave it alone and yeah they may you know kind of separate themselves from those people sometimes but not to that person's detriment they allow that person to continue to be emboldened if they choose to do that unless they choose to step down for whatever their reasons are for doing so. So I've noticed that a lot when it comes to these political parties, when stuff like this goes down, how they treat people. And and it's, it's like crazy where you would think, okay, if you're this supposed right, and you are about living right and being Christian and being all this other, you know, stuff that to be honest with you, none of them really live that stuff. It's just talk. But at any rate, they refuse to step down. They refuse to accept responsibility. And like the the former president, number 45, he had all of these people that came out from the woodworks that claimed things. And I do believe a lot of these people to have um, had these experiences with this person because of the evidence that has come out with a lot of these things. And because of how many lawsuits have been filed against this person with fraudulent things, and and anytime somebody came out, I mean, and we've heard the per- we've heard this person on audio saying "grab him by the p," and he still got elected because people just felt like, oh, well, big deal, no big deal, whatever. And so I'm saying all that to say, I don't think that Andrew Cuomo is any different than a lot of these other people that are serving. This is just now his turn in the spotlight where the heat is and and we'll see what comes of it but do you think he's going to step down i don't know do you think he's going to get charged i i I don't know i just i just feel that because of the positions that these people hold and the power that they wield whether they continue in it or not they tend to be under a blanket of protection that a lot of regular civil people do not get And even though they're trying to come for 45, it just seems like he just keeps, you know, putting up that shield and blocking, you know, blocking stuff. So we've yet to really see anything hit him. We've seen a lot of people that are connected to him get charged, indicted. Some have served time. Some have been pardoned. A lot of them have, just a lot of people connected to that person has had a lot of things and a lot of, you know, a lot of things that are negative and illegal and definitely unethical have come out, but this person still stands. So I don't know, do you feel that Andrew Cuomo should step down? Do you think he's going to be charged? And do you believe the allegations? We'll we'll see, I mean, the people who hate him, of course they're gonna believe it. I don't know the dude, so I really don't have a dog in the fight. I don't really care. I don't live in New York. I've never voted for him, never followed him. And, you know, if he did do these things, then yeah, he definitely should be held accountable. But, I mean, I don't know if people are going to try to use the situations with COVID to be a reason as to why they want to take him down because a lot of people are unhappy with the way he handled the pandemic and then there are a lot of people who are angry that he called out the former president for a lot of things that were going on with covid some things were justified that were called out and then maybe some things may not have been but I don't know what it's like to serve in a position like that where all of these things are going on and then you have the person who is ultimately 
responsible just kind of backing off and saying, well, you're on your own. I would be pissed off and angry too. But that's just my thoughts on it. So you let me know yours in the comment section. Kiss my ass.